Hey now, thanks for tuning in to Truckin' Tuesday. Just got back, well, yesterday I got back from the 18th Annual Hot Wheels Collectors Nationals. And I figured for Truckin' Tuesday, I would show you practically everything I bought, but we'll just kind of uh, highlight the trucks. As a matter of fact, the souvenir cars, well, one of them was the 83 Chevy Silverado. Very popular. Yeah, all the convention cars sold out by the end of the uh, Sunday show. Now, these were on sale for, to attendees. I forgot. I think we paid $30 each. $30 each plus tax. So the Silverado was very popular. And these were limited to 5,000 pieces. Now, if you notice in the corner, it says there's three. That one over there, the truck was number two. We'll just quickly look at uh, the others as well. There was only two souvenir cars for us to purchase. The 66 Supernova was the other one to purchase. However, there was a variation. Now, whether this was planned or not, you have this version and you have uh, this version. No roll cage. And roll cage, you can see the uh, gray roll cage inside. Copperhead 66 Supernova, pretty cool. The roof is textured, kind of like a snake. It's not just paint, it's te textured and bumpy. And one day I'll open one up, not today. So the Nova and the Silverado were, you know, models that we can buy. This one was for the dinner, it's Volkswagen T1 Rockster. Is this a truck? Mm, I don't know, it could be a pickup, a newt, a ute. I don't know, you guys argue, is, is, is that a truck? Uh, I don't know, VW, can you take off the back and call it a truck? That's a brand new model from Hot Wheels. This is the first release to, that has uh, been in collector's hands. Mattel did make a prototype and those were sold online. Now Friday night, we had the uh, Redline Club party. And our pink party car was the 71 Datsun 510. Oh yeah, this is a beauty. Definitely one to have. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep mine, but it's nice to have it right now. And here's number 33 of three. You have the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Pretty cool to have the 50th anniversary logo on there for Hot Wheels. Now this is number three. This was free when we pay for our attendance. I think it was like 75 bucks a person. You go to the Friday finale, I mean Saturday finale, and this is your gift for attending the convention. Pretty cool. Another fantastic year of uh, convention souvenirs. Now we'll just show some other stuff real quick. You know, I bought a whole bunch of red lines. You're going to see some in the video. As a matter of fact, you see that yellow case in the back, uh, the Hot Wheels case? That one right there. Uh, full of red lines and Tomica. And you know what? I don't remember Mattel's online site selling the open fire. I have a red line version, uh, an original red line. <laughs> I don't remember this being sold, so I might already have it. But you know what? Uh, got a decent price on it, so I bought it. You know what's cool about the convention is that people make rocks. R-A-O-K. Oops, it tipped over. Anyways, here you have the Dusty Attic Toy Show. And... So they, they, put their, they put their logo on the roof. So they, they hand these out to some people, some friends. This one here, Paul Spradlin. It's tipping over pretty easy. Paul Spradlin, I've been friends with Paul for many, many years. Uh, back in the days of Joe's Die Cash Shack. Now, you know, some people, they make their customs and then they sell customs. And then it helps, you know, helps pay for their costs for the convention. So I had to have this one, red, white, and blue. I think it was selling them for 20 bucks. I got the uh, old friend discount, if you know what I mean. Let's see what else. Uh, picked up a basic treasure hunt, dollar. I think, yeah, it was a dollar. Let's go. It works with the figures. Here's a truck, Convoy Custom. I, I have this one already, but because it is plastic tired, there's more Convoy Customs with real rider tires. Uh, I'll pick up another one because uh, I'll use it for downhill racing. This way I have a backup in case it gets messed up. This was an online release. This was not retail. Speaking of truck and Tuesday, you know, I do the uh, truck and transporters. Hmm. I 
I have not seen this Ferrari before. Uh, I had to negotiate to get this one. He wanted a pretty price. You know, they can, they can ask what they want. By the way, is that 68? Is that what he wanted? He wanted, uh, I think he wanted more. I think he wanted $90. But we did some talking, and I got, I got a decent price for that. Matter of fact, uh, there's two versions, black and white. White version's better. So this, this one will definitely appear in a future Truck and Tuesday presentation. On the back, let's see. I see the white version right there. Okay, there's the uh, black version. I did pick up a couple other truck and transporters too, as a matter of fact. I'll well show them real quick. Here you have uh, the stock car transport in gold. Here you have nitro door slammer. Look, he's on the nitro door slammer transport. And for classic car collectors, the 57 Chevy. I don't, I'm not positive if I have this one in orange, but you know, these were cheap. Three bucks, except for the Ferrari one. So, you know, three bucks, I'll pick it up. Even if I have an extra three bucks, that's all right. Now the Matchbox, the 70 Datsun 510 Rally on, on the package art, on the card art, it showed these wheels, but most of the cars did not show up with those wheels. So someone had one, someone had one for $15. Uh, no, I don't think so. Mm, someone else had it for three. Three bucks, I'll give you three bucks. So now I have one with the wheels that matches the card art. Thanks to Connie for the nice price on the Cove Light Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man. I have one, but it's an extra for track time. Despicable Me. You know what? I've seen these in um, Fry's Electronics. Two bucks. They wanted two bucks each. I'm not buying them. The only one that I did buy, you look on the back, <laughs> I want the Diora 2 because it's the first release where the boards are part of the body to where it's molded into the body. But the set does have a truck. There you have the Monster Dairy Delivery. Uh, you know what, if you're a fan of Despicable Me, card art's nice. Here's the Diora 2 that I bought before. But uh, you know, I'm not, I paid two bucks a card to get the Diora, the Diora 2. But I'm not paying two good bucks a card to get the others. Even though I need some of them for track time, like I'm doing track time snippets, and I need different colors of cars, like Slicked Back hasn't had a whole lot of releases. Well, I want that one for a, a, a track time snippet. Uh, what, six cars in the set? I paid four bucks. I paid four bucks for all six cars all together, a set. And here's a glance at the others. Many mm, of them trucks? I think you'd say this one is a truck. Bedlam, I believe. Let's see. Jester. Sorry. Jester. Mm, is that a truck? Pickup? You can argue. I waited and I waited and I waited. Finally, got a 16 Angels Super. $10 with a plastic protector. 10 bucks. Pretty good price. That's basically the online price. And then I don't have to pay shipping. And a lot of people have all the new stuff, right? So I picked up a set of the Batman, the Batman set of pop culture. I forget the artist, uh, I forgot the artist's name who did all of this art. And that's the significant, Alex, it looks like it says Alex. But that's the significance of this set here, is that uh, a, a known person did all the artwork. So we'll just grab, look at them quick. I don't, I don't think there was any trucks in this set actually. But I'm just quickly going through uh, showing my convention hall at the same time. Yep, and it's nice to get the whole team on the Volkswagen T1 panel. And there's the team in the artwork as well. Toy Story, same thing, track time, four bucks. I don't know if I have Jam and Jesse. Now this series, they did have trucks, Turbo Chunk and Lotso Speed. Is that the only two trucks? That's the only two trucks I see. I'm not sure if you would call that a truck or a van. But uh, I've tried these two, <laughs> uh, not so good in the boosters. Uh, I'm sure you guessed that, but I, I have shot some video with it, with them going through the boosters, and at some point they will be shown on the Track Time channel. Now somebody had uh, getting rid of their extra DC character cards, so two bucks each picked up an extra Joker GT. This one's different than the release from a few years ago. This one has yellow sides. Before it did not. I found these in Walmart in Justice 2. 
But I found them one time. It's like, I need extras because I sent them through the boosters and they get beat up. None of these are trucks, so we'll just keep moving on. I did not get extras of the uh, armored, I call this one the armored attack armor version. I think that's what that is. The Batmobile. Anyways, I didn't get extras of that one. This 10 pack, it's got a truck. You see this one right here? This one, this one was actually released on a single cart as well. And I think it was a Mattel online thing. But somehow the trucks wound up in the 10 packs as well. And there are variations, I guess darker green and lighter green. I'm not sure what another variation might have been. Metal base, uh, I can't keep track. So many, so many vehicles. But yeah, this pack has a truck. And that's a pretty cool truck to own. Uh, Patrick is on the door. I don't remember if uh, Patrick had something to do with the uh, design concept or was it like one of those uh, charity things where a kid, uh, where they work with a kid, a kid's charity. I forget. It might have been. It might not. And that brings me to, if you followed me on Instagram, you already seen, uh, you already seen all the red lines I purchased. Uh, some of them might be trucks. Oh, yeah. Picked up some uh, Hello Kitty. This is uh, Tomica, right? Mm, nope, not a truck. Not a truck. Not a truck. These Hello Kitties, they're little cars. I don't know, are they? There they go. That's what they look like, but they're like a surprise unboxing. So I'll make that a separate video. And then I'll do some racing. As far as this box set, this was a uh, online thing where they sold this collector's case. I'm not sure how long ago. Oh, 2002. I'm sorry. It was 2002. I don't know the price is what I'm trying to say. Might as well put my sticker on it. People who said hi, I gave them a sticker. Let's go ahead and check out. Uh, let's see. What's in the box? A bunch of red lines and Tomica. Oh, yeah. So um, my wife, they have charity, right? They have bunch of stuff for kids charities and this one is for the children's miracle network so they had uh, bingo so my wife likes to pay play bingo so i uh i paid for her to go play she won a game so she got a purple vw bus i don't know if this is exclusive to the bingo or if it was like a bonus that they gave in other uh, charity events as well with your entry fee you get a red a white and a blue 40 Ford Coupe has the convention logo. These are called threes. They have a, they have somebody customize them. Paint by Steve Riddell. Tap was designed by Michael Fisher, which I believe would be a Mattel employee, I believe. Uh, but since you want a game, she gets extra colors. She gets it in gold. This one looks like a, a charcoal black. And this one here. Maybe there's two reds. I'm not sure which one is. Uh, this one's probably the one that came with the regular. This metallic one is probably like a bonus for winners. I talked about code threes. And, you know, people walk around. Oh, I said a rock, right? Random act of kindness. And so they just give, they give these to fellow collectors, spreading the joy of love. Now, I put it in this protector. He didn't have it like this. As a matter of fact, most people do it like this. They put them in these baggies, right? So, you know, he gives, they give their uh, give things to fellow collectors. Bone Striker, obviously, popular models nowadays. Oh, yeah, I talked about 68 Customs, and he did that Bone Shaker. He also did this. It's a, it's a little wheelie bar. Let me see. Let's get a car here. So you take your car. I think it was selling this for 5 bucks. It's nice. It looks like a roadway. And then you get your car, and you just pop it up like that. This is the first time I did this, so let's see how we do it. There you go. It's like your car is just doing a little wheelie. I'm a bad king camera angle, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. Let's put this back in before I forget. Uh, red light, nope, not a truck. 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 What mobile? Oh, uh, not a truck. It does have doggies in the back, though. You open up that door right there, and it has some uh, doggies. I don't think you'd call that a truck. Mm, van? Not a truck. Let's see. Sand crab? I'll do a I'll feature on all these red lines later. Hey, here you go. Here's a, a Brinks truck, right? Funny money red line. And these are, this is a red line with the closed cap wheels to where it's the, uh, the wheel is popped on the Delrin bushing. 
It's actually a funny car. It's, 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 a, uh, it's actually like a Brinks truck. We'll take a look at it. There you go. This is from the early 70s. I don't have the exact year. Sorry. There you have funny money. It will have a sticker on one side and not the other. That is normal. Oh, yeah, this was affordable for me. Oh, yeah, the prices. These are not the prices because I had these containers from previous purchases. And then I just brought them back to the convention and then I used them again. I got a great price on this because, man, it's in fantastic con condition. Except for it has a little uh, busted fender right here. It's broke off. That's right. It can still be a can still do some downhill racing, eh? Let's see. What other? The hood. Oh, too far back. Sorry. Let's see what we have here. Nope. Nope. Swinging wing. Nope. Caribou. Nope. Oh, twin mill. Is that a truck? I don't know, but it's an original red line. There you have peeping bomb. Another caribou, another color. Uh, Mazda Mistral. Sand crab. Mm, beach buggy, not a truck. Here's another one. I'm not sure when I'll uh, get to do a video with these because <clears throat> 51, I bought 51 red lines, spent a lot of money. But that's that was my goal this year to fill some holes as far as the uh, red lines go. Here you have the custom fleet side. So now I added purple. I have another color. I don't remember which color that was. Uh, but I made a list before I went down. I knew which, which red lines I had. I knew which colors I had. So when I went down there, uh, I, this way I wouldn't buy the same color of the same model. I got to uh, pick up some models that I don't have. Jet Threat. That's the original Jet Threat for those of you who know about Jet Threat 2, 3, 4.0. That's the original Jet Thread. Here's another color for a Twin Mill. Here's another, I think this is the hood. Uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, by the way, uh, I didn't film anything. I filmed one thing. It's about a minute, minute and a half. I'll put that at the end of the video, okay? Here's Vega Bomb. And since I drive, a sh my first car was a Chevy Vega. Picked up the Vega Bomb. And you know what I do when I go to the rooms? I look for rooms to where I could several, buy several cars at a time, and this way try to ask for a discount. Uh, if, they, if they only have one car, then they're less likely to want to make a deal because you're only buying one car. So, you know, I try to find rooms to where there's lots of cars in good enough condition. My, <laughs> when I go to the rooms, okay, the, the guys that know me, they know this is what I got to do. Uh, they have to roll, okay? They have to look decent. The price has to be okay. But the, the main thing is they got to roll. It doesn't matter. I know that you can tune them up. But my deal, uh, if I don't have to waste time tuning them up, how do you know if I can never tune it up and make it roll straight? I just don't want to mess with it. I'll pay you a nice price. I'll pay you a nice price for a nice model. You know, if it rolls straight now, and I don't have to mess with it. Uh, no, I see there's no trucks there. But let me just show you real quick this one. Uh, because it's got to roll. So, RD knows, lets me open up his packages. I go over there, and it's got to roll straight. So, I will be downhill racing these on the Race Grooves YouTube channel. We'll be do I'll do that in a second. Let me put it over there and make sure I don't mess that one up. I got two cords. Here's the other color. And how about this? I wasn't really looking for 73 enamels, but like I said, this person had a few cars, and so I got a decent price. The interesting thing about this is this is normal. It has the capped red lines in the back and uncapped in the front. You can see the hole in the middle, right? So that's how you know it's a straight axle going through there, whereas in the back, uh, the wheel is it's a cap. The wheels popped on the bushing, or popped on the other part of the wheel, depending on which type of red light it is. Let's see. I don't know if there's any trucks here. Nope. Picked up Tomoka. I think I picked up uh, 18. There's a truck. There you go. Optimus Prime in the Dream Tomoka line. Uh, not a truck. 
Now, <laughs> uh, there's six in the box. Uh, he was selling four for 20. So uh, six in that box, I had to buy a couple extra. So this way it would round it out. Plus if there's uh, six colors, if there's six colors, two, four, six, I would like to get one of each color. So I bought a couple extra to try to help my odds in making sure I got uh, all the colors. Oh, uh, did I show you that one? I only bought one, so that has to be the same one. Pikachu! Here's the truck. Pick this one up because I got the big dizzy one from Mattel. So I kind of have this one as well. That's a better picture right there. You know what his name is? It's right there. I forgot the name. Actually, it might be a lady, right? Ooh, I almost forgot. There's a truck animal transporter. Check it out. Transporting some pandas. There's a shark. Hey, that's from that movie, uh, uh, Finding Nemo, maybe. If I'm wrong, tell me. Mm, truck? Mm, might be more of a passenger van. Oh, yeah. Is this the two? One for Snoopy and one for Snoopette. I don't know what the lady Snoopy had. I've never known there to be a lady Snoopy. That took me by surprise. I don't know. Hey, there you go. There's another minion. Minion Bob. Mm, I don't know if they had more minions or just this one. I'm not sure. Not a truck, not a truck, not a truck. Someone asked me in the weekend show would I buy uh, mm, Tomica off of eBay, uh, Amazon and do reviews. You know, they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. Well, these were five bucks. But hey, five bucks, that's more in my neck of the woods. So I'll buy that one. Oh, Woody. Look at Woody. That's a pretty cool vehicle. Now, I'm sitting there saying that. <laughs> I'll pay five bucks for this, and then I go and pay $200 for the uh, classic cords. Yeah, this is a this is a $200 car right here. Well, I, I take that back. I showed you the green one, right? Between the green and this magenta, uh, one was $175 and the other was $225. I'm not sure which one was which. I just put him in this container. He gave me the baggie. But uh, the biggest purchase was probably the Jeffrey uh, fan. The Jeffrey. Yeah, I paid that. I paid $350. Didn't even ask for a discount. You know why? Because RD's gave me lots of discounts over the year for me and my family. Uh, fantastic condition on this Jeffrey super van. Uh, you're not going to find very many in this high of a quality. You can, as a matter of fact, you check eBay, you'll find one that's scuffed up. And that one sold for like $370. And this one's cheaper and in better condition. So that's why I picked this one. Okay, let me show you the only snippet that I showed uh, from Mattel. I think it was from the Redline Club party. I think they had these out. And uh, maybe you'll see some trucks that will show up in the future. Trucking Tuesdays. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.